Hello everyone, I'm Corwin Chrisman, and I just learned about the passing of Mr. Hodge, and I'm I'm saddened, and I'm joyed both. I'm I'm sad because this earth lost uh, an amazing man, and um, I'm joyed because I know that he's dancing and rejoicing with Jesus right now, which is fantastic. I knew Mr. Hodge because he was my GED teacher. Uh, long time ago, I was a 26 year old father of many children and, and I was in the process of switching careers and I had never gotten my GED and that's something that I needed to have to fulfill my lifelong dream to become a police officer. And I signed up for the, the GED program and Mr. Hodge was my teacher. And that man was a pivotal step in the process for me of reaching this, this goal of becoming a police officer, really the calling that God has on my life to be a police officer. And the thing that stands out to me most about Mr. Hodge was his, his desire to see people succeed. And he truly cared about me and the steps that I needed to go through to, to walk this career path. And he was always so encouraging and so bent on helping me achieve my goal that I never doubted for a second that I was gonna get my GED. And that was because of Mr. Hodge's drive to see me succeed. He really, he pushed me to do everything that needed to be done. And the thing that I wanted to share with you is a phone call, uh, a message that he left on my phone after I had gone through the process of being in his classes for GED and I had passed my GED and he called me to congratulate me. And I want you to listen to that voicemail. I've saved it all of these years because it just meant so much to me that he cared enough for me to send me that message after I'd already got my GED. He didn't owe me anything. He didn't need to call me. He had already done his job, but he cared. And so he went above and beyond. And so I want you to listen to this. Okay, guys. Well, hi there, Corwin. Uh, this is Mr. Hodge calling you. Uh, I just got your message a little while ago. Um, you called yesterday. Uh, my wife and I were in Rochester for the weekend visiting our family down there, our sons. So we just got back a little while ago. Hey, I'm uh, really so glad for you, Corwin. Um, very glad that you passed your, your uh, math portion of the task exam. Very happy for you. You worked hard for it um, in the time that you were in class. You earned it, and, um, and this is a giant step forward in your being able to accomplish your your goals of um, going, going into the um, police academy and becoming a, a trooper someday. So I just wanted to call you and congratulate you and let you know I'm really, really happy. I know that um, you and your family are probably pretty happy too to get to get those scores. So congratulations again. And um, well, best of luck to you. Um, I wish you all the best in um, everything that you endeavor to do. So um, good job, Corwin. And uh, God bless you. Bye. Well, hi there, Corwin. Uh, this is Mr. Ho